Good afternoon from the sunny country of Sri Lanka. And right in front of me, that's a breadfruit tree, guys. Right here, this is a breadfruit tree. In fact, in many countries around the world, especially in the Caribbean, this fruit is a staple fruit for many dishes there. So that's a breadfruit tree. And it's very interesting, you can find it in Sri Lanka. All right, ignore the airplane behind me. I'm really near the airport. So we're just taking a walk right now. It's gonna be a very interesting journey today. I have to get a bus from where I am here in Katunaika to Colombo, next city, all right? Now, Colombo is like the, one of the main cities here in Sri Lanka. Developed city, got shopping malls, market, vibrant culture, different people from across the country lives there. And you got international visitors and stuff that obviously stops in Colombo before they move on to other places on the beautiful island of Sri Lanka. So this is what I can see in front of me, guys. These are just homes here. This is pretty much a residential area where I'm staying. Wow, look at this beautiful flower. I think it's a bougainvillea. Beautiful pink color, guys, really lovely. And it's something that you will see in many gardens um, and people's yards when you travel throughout Sri Lanka. So this is Sri Lanka, baby. That's a coconut tree right there. Wow. Quick side note, what I've noticed in Sri Lanka, a lot of dishes are made from the coconut. So, of course, when you go to a lot of places, one of the things you notice, there's coconut water, you can drink the, you can eat the jelly. But apart from that, people make certain flour with the coconut here. People make certain um, pancakes. People make different drinks, even alcohol, Sri Lankan, Arak is made from the coconut. So very interesting guys. And they even use the coconut leaves and different things to make baskets. Some even use it for roofs of their homes in different areas. So the coconut trees are a real symbol of this island out here guys. So. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing more of this as we travel throughout this country. This is the highway, guys, here in Katunaika. So this is what the highway looks like, you know? How are you doing, my friend? Are you born? Oh, you're You're fine, Hyundai. You're supposed to say Hyundai. Hyundai, Hyundai. Hyundai, yeah. I'm just visiting your beautiful country of Sri Lanka. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice island. Do you love Sri Lanka? Yeah. What do you like about Sri Lanka? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, so my friend, he, my friend saying it's a very nice place, hospitable people. That's really nice. I've been enjoying my stay here. So where are you going now? I'm going to Dancing. Okay, so this is your bicycle? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Have a good day, yeah? All right, thank you. It's Tutti. All right. So, yeah, just talking with the locals. The main language spoken here in Sri Lanka are, well, the traditional languages, Sinhalese and Tamil, and also the English language. A lot of people do speak English. To various levels of fluency so yeah that guy was cool this is st peter's and paul's church and there's also a school which is just over there as well so this is what it looks like the kids are over there and that's the church straight down so a lot of people here on the island practice different religions christianity being one of them so yeah this is it i'm looking for the bus now to go to Colombo so let's see there's two buses that goes to Colombo there is the large public bus which takes a longer time and then there's the highway bus and that one has air conditioning and it will bring me to Colombo a much faster time around 45 minutes so I'm gonna look for that I was told by my host I can get a bus just after the church where we just walked by so i'm gonna walk just to this gap here and ask someone if they can point me to the right direction when you're new to a place one of the things if you don't know how to navigate your way a simple hello can you assist me with something could go a long way all right 
So let's see who I can ask. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, could you help me? I'm looking for the bus to Colombo. Colombo? Yeah, I'm looking for the highway bus to Colombo. Where can I get it? Yeah. This place is the basol. Oh, by in front of the church? The church. So I just wait there? Yeah. And I'll get the highway bus. Highway? Yeah. Highway coming? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How much is it? How much now? I don't know. Yeah, you're not sure, yeah? Oh, 200 baggage. Around 200 yeah. rupees. Oh. It's tutti. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. So that's it, guys. So the gentleman was very helpful. Told me I need to go back to where I was walking by the church. That's the bus, the bus terminal or bus stand, I should say, bus stand. And then from there, I'll be able to get the highway bus to Colombo. So let me walk. I'll wait for a bit. Just over there where you can see those purple cloth blowing in the wind and then after that I'll get on the bus and I'll show you that experience. Peace. Okay guys, right now I'm on the bus, got the bus. This is the highway bus and it will take me straight to Colombo guys. So it should be around 45 minutes and I'll go straight to Colombo. So once I get there, I'll film and show you what it's like. This is what inside the bus looks like but it got air conditioned so it makes the journey a real cool one as I travel to Colombo. All right, so I got off the bus. We took the bus from Katunaika to Colombo. So this is my first time here in Colombo. First impression, very busy in comparison to where I was. Real city vibe, immediately I'm greeted with a lot of traffic to some extent. Tuk tuks, we got trucks everywhere, coconuts being sold. Oh, just over there they sell coconut. You know, so very interesting. I think I want to get some coconut water. That's a good um, way to start off my journey. So yeah, I'm going to start the journey by doing that. So let's walk a few steps just across the street there. I'll be able to get some coconut. These are the buses, guys. These are the local buses that you'll see throughout Colombo and throughout Sri Lanka. This is how a lot of the local people get around. So that's the bus here. Many different people here doing business here. How are you doing, my friend? You okay? Is this your shop? Is this your shop? Goiba. Oh, Goiba. What are you selling? Huh? <laughs> what are you selling? Is you got samosas? Ah, uh, egg roll. Oh, okay. Egg roll. Oh, egg, egg roll. Oh, guys. So yeah, this is egg roll. What's this one here? Samosas. Samosa. Samosa. How much? Eighty rupees. Eighty rupees. Very affordable. Eighty ru rupees. That's under one US dollar. So that's great. I'm I'm on holiday here in Sri Lanka. Colombo. Colombo. Yeah, Colombo. So I'm walking around. What's your name? Herua. Huh? Where's Herua? And you? Diru. 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 Okay. Are you born? I born. Yeah. I'm Imani. Imani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you around. Thank you. Yeah. Might be a bit of a language barrier there, but um, yeah. So that's good. We're moving around. I want to get some coconut water. I do like coconut water, especially in the hot sun. It's really nice. They got drinks. Guys, this is the market over here. So this is the local market. You can get coconut water. They're selling pineapples and different things here. So I'm going to get a coconut water. How you doing, my friend? How much? Yeah. Okay. So we got the smaller ones, 120, yeah. and this one. You are drinking, sir? You are cut? Yeah, let me get one of this. Thank you. It's tutti. Uh -huh. Look how he cuts it, guys. Look how he cuts it. Very skillful. Very sharp knife. Look at that. He cuts there. Cuts it like that, and then 
box it and look, all the coconut water, really lovely. Thank you, it's tutti. Okay, sir. Yeah. So I'm drinking some coconut, guys. Um, I'm gonna drink it without the straw. I'm gonna drink it the local way. Actually, can I have a straw? Yeah, he's gonna put the straw, so that's nice. So here we go, we got coconut water on the streets of Colombo. Yeah, Colombo. Colombo Pita. Yeah, Colombo Pita. Colombo Pita, good city. All right. <laughs> Yeah. This this road Okay. What's the name of the What's the name of this market? Yeah, this market. Yeah. You forgot the name. This name is. Hi. Hello. I'm okay. How are you? All right. I'm visiting. I'm on holiday here in Sri Lanka. Holiday. Yeah, holiday. Vegetable market, sir. Vegetable market. I'll, I'll be One here. Month? Yeah, a month. Yeah. One month. Yeah. Where are from? England. England. Yeah. He's thinking uh, South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Africa. You have a lot of people coming from uh, South Africa here. Yes, coming. Oh, really? Okay. And where are you from? What city? I'm Chitlan. J uh, Jaffna? Colombo. Oh, Colombo. Oh, okay. Colombo Pita. Colombo. Yeah. Pita Kotua. Yeah, Pita Kotua. Okay. This one area, Bodhi Raja Mahat. This one area. This area, okay. Bodhi Raja Mahat. Bodhi Raja Mahat is this road. Okay. This area, uh, port. Port. Uh, Port. This area, uh, Pita. Oh, Pita. Pita. Oh. Pita area. Okay. Bodhira uh, Jamaat is this road. Oh, so all here is Pita. Uh, this all Pita. Okay, right. So we're in Pita, guys. Yeah. Very famous area here in the heart of the city of Colombo. You'll get so many shops, so many markets here as well. So this is this my first is stop. Vegetable market. Yeah. Vegetable. Yeah. Only keen coconut. Okay. So there's different coconut. This one is the king coconut, yeah? King coconut. All right. Yeah. And the water is really, really sweet, guys. Really sweet and refreshing, especially when you're traveling in the hot sun and you're walking around a lot like what I'm doing. You need something that could cool you down and coconut water is the thing to do it. People are very much cool and chilled here, you know? So um, yeah, this is my first time here in Colombo. So it's a fresh start. I will be exploring more of the city, so let me finish this coconut water. I'll pay the gentleman and then we'll carry on exploring more of Colombo. I need to find my hotel as well, so we'll do all of that together. All right, in a bit. All right, those guys are really friendly, really cool. Just from the coconut stand there. So I need to get an Uber, not an Uber, but a pick me up to um, my hotel. So. This is what the pick me app looks like. I don't know if you can see it. And I can either get a tuk-tuk, a taxi, or a scooty. These are the kind of scooty bikes that you can also get here. A scooter, but they call it scooty here in Sri Lanka or, or an auto. Yeah, and that could take me to where I want to go. So I think I'll get a tuk-tuk. I'm just waiting for my app to load my location. And I should get one shortly and we'll be on to my hotel. It's not far from here. So that'll be a real good experience for me today, guys. So you can see so far, it's a real good introduction to Sri Lanka. I know a lot of time people come to Sri Lanka for the beaches, to see candy, the tea plantations, and just to relax. But the real treasure of Sri Lanka also is in its people. Of course, you get good and bad in every society, but you get a lot of welcoming and hospitable people here in Sri Lanka. So yeah, it's a good vibe. This is Colombo, guys. Colombo. Different people here in Colombo, man. So yeah, let me wait for my tuk-tuk and we'll catch up at the hotel. Peace out. All right, guys, on another adventure again. Welcome to Colombo. Colombo City, right now I'm in Colombo 11 and I need to get to Colombo 1 so me and my tuk-tuk driver here 
it's on a mission. Now sometimes you will notice on the Google apps it might tell you a shortcut or, a, or the quickest way to get to a place but sometimes the tuk-tuk are not allowed to go certain roads so the tuk-tuk will have to pass a very long way to get to certain destinations so that could influence the price as well but anyways it's all good I'm here with my tuk-tuk driver you want to say your name what's your name Bandula Bandula yeah so this is Bandula and he will be taking me to my place welcome to Colombo that's it here guys This is the real streets. Whoa, gotta be careful there. All right, we're on an adventure. Colombo! Yeah, baby, we're in Colombo right now. How you doing, my friend? How you going? <laughs> on an adventure. This is Colombo, guys. So hopefully I'll get to my place in the next 15 minutes. And then I'm going to show you where I'm staying, see what it's like and explore more of this amazing city here in Colombo. But let me just show you what I'm seeing. There's a few temples over there. And that's a tower, famous tower. And there's some kind of like a garden slash park down there. So far, I'm impressed with the cleanliness of Colombo. It's really nice. These are all the high-rising buildings in Colombo Business District Get your passport ready and definitely visit Sri Lanka people It's a place to be 